Yes, another steam engine video. Um, over the last eight or nine years, I've been very fortunate to be able to uh, amass quite a large collection of uh, model stationary steam engines, and um, I never intended these to be shelf queens. Uh, I, I fully intended to run them, and I do try and run each and every one of them uh, occasionally. Um, so what I thought I'd do is a uh, kind of little retrospective video series of um, when I do take these down off the shelf to run them, I thought I'd uh, shoot a little video. Most of these have had videos taken of them running and they are on my YouTube channel. But a lot of them were done a long time ago where, and the camera that I had at the time wasn't very good and of course technology has moved on etc. Um, so I thought uh, we'd start off with the big Bowman, the M101. I think it actually is the largest of the uh, Bowman stationary engines. Um, this particular one uh, I didn't restore this 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 I bought this pretty much as is it had a few problems when it arrived um, the steam pipe had become disconnected from the cylinder here and the piston was actually seized inside the cylinder which were both fairly easy fixes um, but uh, the guy's done quite a, whoever had did the restoration has done quite a good job it's, it's not bad at all um, but just to give you some idea of how big this thing actually is put the ruler there um, the boiler is uh, over six inches long and it is about uh, three inches in diameter which is truly uh, <laughs> large and it holds about a pint of water when it's filled up to the level plug here it's also got one of the largest mess burners that I've ever come across um, and also there is the truly impressive flywheel here this actually weighs about a pound this thing is just massive um, but Bowman, all Bowman engines are, are simply superb. They're fantastic quality. Uh, just shine through in this. Um, and they are just lovely. Um, I don't think this is an original transfer. Or, or it may be, but it's been reapplied. Um, but, uh, yeah, a typical of the larger Bowman engines, this has the uh, cylinder cover here. The actual cylinder is, under, is inside this. And it also has these uh, little drip drip feed oiler here which um, I think two or three of the ones that engines I've got have that but um, no they're, uh, they're, they're, they're remarkable I mean this one uh, these were built between the late 1920s and the early 1930s so this is over 80 years old this engine um, and it's in excellent condition right so um, let's get it running Well, I think we're uh, up to pressure. Let's give it a little nudge. There we go. Very smooth running. Check the whistle. They're quite powerful, these uh, these engines. So let's give it a go and see if we can stop it. I'm having to exert quite a lot of force to get it to break like that. Okay. Interesting. I find it interesting anyway. The, uh, the various different manufacturers, um, certainly British steam engines, tend to have their own style of burner. So if we have a look at this. There we go. As a standard uh, Bowman slotted single tube burner. Uh, and most of the Bowman, Bowman burners were like that. Not as big as this one, they were generally a lot smaller, but the same style. It's quite interesting if you would compare it to the. Um, this is a pretty much a standard Bowman. Uh, sorry, this is a standard Mammoth burner. Uh, sometimes they had uh, one, two, three, or four wicks. But well, that's typical of Mammoth style. And then this is uh, a sliding burner, which again is very different as you can see. But uh, each manufacturer tended to have their own style. Yeah. Let's just uh, take the heat off for a minute.
Also, due to the huge boiler capacity and the large capacity of the burner, it, um, the engine will run for um, you know for quite a significant amount of time. And also, without the burner in place. <laughs> but they truly are lovely engines. Um, you know, considering its age, it, 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 it runs sweet as a nut. I generally don't tend to use the drip feed oilers as they are rather messy. I just uh, do the oiling manually. Stick the burner back in again. So there you go, the Bowman M101, Bowman's big bad boy, in action.